Hey guys, welcome to the channel. For the, for the tip of the week, we have we're gonna do a little stencil. Very important part of the tattoo process of the beginning tattoo. So God to thanks God to the technology we have nowadays that we pad, so we can use that for so we'll print very quickly what I'm gonna use is just something, it's a reference. Um, I will print it from the beginning, I will show you a hand. So back in the day when I was, you know, very young, I had to, to use stencil, uh, like a paper, which we stencil by hand. So you do like the drawing over the paper and stencil if you don't freehand the drawing. Nowadays we have a machine, which is, this is a German edition of a machine, which is very good, works really well, but you can get a few different variations of it. Um, this is a expensive one or in a long in a long run term running you it's, it's lost long lifetime you can get some on amazon for 120 bucks something cheap something good for like a short period of time and it would serve for the beginning if you're starting your your career right so as again as i said i don't recommend to do this kind of things home but if you are into, into it or doing it or willing to do so Try to get the best material you can get and get the best of it, right? So here you go. Um, there's a, be a very, be a very quick as possible. So cut as edgy as possible for the stance, the, the, the reference you're using. Try to, to minimize the waste of paper, right? Because we're used, wasting a lot here, by the way. But try to not waste so much on your on your studio or your, your whatever you're doing there. And Cutting off nicely like that, so kind of fall following the the edges of the, the, the reference. In this case is a, a butterfly and a, and a <clears throat> lily flower, which I draw a few days ago. And um, yeah, so we just drink some drinks here and there, create some here and there as well. So basically, this is the waste of paper. Shame on me. That's how it goes. Unfortunately, that's how it goes. So then here's the reference we're gonna use. So uh, what I recommend is to not use the waste the paper so much. Here in this paper we have this called made in use a split. Uh, it's three sheets, right? So it's one in between. This is the, the white one, a transparent brown one, and the, in the carbon, and then the back, which is the so basic flaw, but yeah, we use three. So this is the, what it looks like. And the brown one, which is the middle one, which is the transparent part, we will eliminate straight away. So goodbye. Then here you have to placing it the surface. So the you put inside the reference. So facing up like that. I think so you can see right. And then on the yellow page, which is the last page and then the carbon goes over it so you see here is nothing and here is nothing but you can see the shell over there put in the plastic is a little plastic uh, two plastic sheets like this which you, you can buy on, on your in your stationery shop around the corner from me from where i live then you here and then this is very important this is the speed of the machine where the lower the speed, the slow the machine runs, and that means you're gonna have like this strong carbon on the stencil. The highest, the faster, so that would be more for fine line work and stuff like that. Okay, so here we go. So that's your so sounds kind of cool. Yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit slow, and here we have our stencil. So here's the stencil, as you can see, pretty easy. As we spoke last week about the stencil, here you go. Carbon, black, and the stencil. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye.